great jury prize for documentary film, for U.S. documentary film, goes to The House I Live In, directed by Eugene Director. Um, I, I don't really know what to say, except that we began a journey. Um, I guess it started for me many, many years ago when someone I love very much who's in the audience tonight, Manny Jetter. Could you stand, Manny? Um, Manny is the inspiration for the film, and I, I met her when I was an infant, and it inspired me throughout my life. Uh, she inspired me to be very concerned about social justice. There she is. And it set myself and my team on a journey to really learn more about what was happening to African-American families like Nanny's in the United States because of the criminal justice system and in particular ultimately because of the war on drugs. And the war on drugs is a terrible scar in America. It's a tragedy that's unfolding. We have 2.3 million people in prison in America. That's more than any other nation on earth. It's 1% of our population. <laughs> Thank you a lot. Pretty amazing. Can you tell me a little bit about your film? Sure, my film is called The House I Live In. It's a look at the war on drugs and the impact that the war on drugs is having on poor Americans, particularly Americans of color, but increasingly all poor Americans. How did the film come about? It was inspired by friends of mine whose lives have been deeply hurt by the war on drugs and by the unfairness of the criminal justice system. It feels like the film can be is helped heavily to become a, a sort of a an outreach force to get more and more people to think about something that I think is very urgent in American life and very heartbreaking and needs to be fixed. What kind of statistics did you learn about? We've spent more than a trillion dollars on the war on drugs in 40 years, 45 million arrests, and for all that we have not made drugs less available, we've made them more available, cheaper, more widespread, younger and younger people using them. We have 2.3 million people in prison, that's more than any other country on earth, it's 1% of our population. If you heard the kind of statistics that happen under our war on drugs, you would think it was a description of a foreign dictatorship with no human rights. What do you think America should look at for the next president? To be smart on crime rather than tough on crime. Politicians who pay, pander to the public that they're going to be smart on drug dealers and people involved with drugs end up putting people who use drugs and people who sell drugs, most often poor people, in jail for longer sentences than we currently give to murderers. That's just simply perverse. Will they come up with any solutions uh, to, to this problem? There are many solutions. We have a lot. A number of them, they're organizations who do the real work of fighting against this, and people can find that on our website, which is thehouseiliven.org. I really loved your film. Thank you very much. And, and you, were, you had a great Q&A when you were uh, playing Montel. Ah, good. I appreciate that. Thank you very much.